What up, guys? I'm G. I'm Dom. And welcome to another episode of Food Truck Foodies. Foodies. On the award-winning podcast, of course, 210 Culture. Just have to throw that in. Number one. Um, Best of the City 2020. But mainly, we're here, back at Street Fair, like always, for La Consentida. It's our first home. Yes, it's our first home. So we're back here today for some Mexican food. Dom, are you ready for a burrito? All right. Time to stay on the toilet tonight. And for all our friends at home watching, burrito in the bowl. <laughs> I'm Ellie Pulido, I'm the owner of my Consentida food truck. All right, and can you tell us what got you into the food truck industry? Right, are you so, um, we have a family that own La Consentida in Mexico City, and we have a family of just food, the food industry, and um, it's my passion. I've always loved to do that, so coming in and doing a career change um, from the corporate world, and I'm to come out, and I absolutely love what I do. So. Actually, this was a part-time job. I started working with her just for the extra money. I worked at a school district as a manager, so I was fully certified, but this is fun. I kind of got sick of the nine to five thing. So this is just takes you out different places. Sometimes we get like during the week off, so I like that and you know, so. But it's fun, I really like it and I enjoy it. I love feeding the people. I love to see that they enjoy the food and their eyes when they see how big it is. And you get to meet a lot of different people, see a lot of faces, so. It is. It's always good to love what you can do. And you know what? And also, saying that you love what you do, people that love your food, what is the most popular item you want to serve? So the most popular item that we obviously has to be the original, the street tacos, but everything else is on there that like, you may want to try. It's really amazing. Yeah. But um, street tacos are really like the main thing. Parasada fries, King Cali. Um, those are the most popular items. Well, I can't wait to get our food and try that out. And so, you know, saying all those great dishes and everything, and seeing that you love what you do, where do you see yourself in the future? Give me about five minutes and I'll Yeah, that's a really good question because uh, I've thought about uh, opening up a location and doing that, but I'd like to go to my customers. Um, I'm at a position where I could probably, I'm ready for a second food truck, um, opening up a location, but I do a holistic food truck and then just see how that goes on there. I see her opening another food truck. Um, I do see her putting her al pastor sauce and her creamy jalapeno um, salsa out um, to sell. Yeah, so actually that's the next step for her. So I'm excited to grow with her. I started off in the beginning with her and she's taking me with her. So, and she lets, to get, she lets me put ideas as well. So some of the stuff that we've come up with is actually some things I've came up with. So it's cool that she does that for me. Like she actually lets me feel like I'm part of it, so. Yeah, I, I would stick with her to the end. We're, she's gonna go far. She. Well, that's great to know. You know, follow us and wait till we get that food so we can see what the, all the fuss is about. Thank you so much for sticking with us and feeding us. Yes, thank all you. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys. So the food got here, and it looks like we got a buffet of food. So starting here to my left, we have the appetizers, which would be the mini tacos. Then uh, next to that, we got the asada fries of that. And you know. finally, we're going to finish it off with the Cali King burrito, which uh, weighs a pretty good chunk of change I can see it here. bending. So um, we're going to dip into the mini tacos first. So Dom did his research on all of this. Oh, yeah. So we got, first off, we got a, a pastor, and then we got asada, and we got the chicken, and then we got the chicken Hawaiian. So, and then the beef Hawaiian. So we're gonna go ahead and yeah, dip into it, which one you want. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and, um, yeah, we're just gonna grab. We're not gonna 
I'm gonna try one of the Hawaiian ones. Nah, what I was gonna do is just dump some into each one and then share. Ah. Uh, there you go, sir. Like that? Yeah. Oh. So, um, cool. you have a. Oh. So, cheers. There you go, that's for you. Mmm. The mistake's really good. It has some good flavor to it. Seasons really well, and because it's small enough, it gets nice and crispy. So you're not getting like soggy meat, you're getting some good crispiness there. Everything done. The chicken Hawaiian one has, you know, the taste of pineapple on it, some onion, and the cilantro really picks it up really good. I like, I like it, it's very moist. Succulent. I want to try the same one, while he tries the other one I just had. Mm. Hey, you said it's more like a chicken al pastor, where you get the pineapple juices in there. Mm. So, I really like al pastor, but you don't like the pork part of it. The chicken one's the way to go. What about the beef one there, Dom? Oh, man. Yeah, I like a little crunch in it, a little savory. The seasoning, like you said, really picks up. I really like it. All right, so which one you get next? That one is the other chicken. Chicken? Yeah, so this is going to be your regular chicken. A it's on hard to see on camera, but it's nice, really, really small. So, has a nice consistency to it. Definitely chicken tacos I would like to have at like 1 a.m. The good thing about it, it's so juicy that it's not like other chicken tacos yeah. where it's all dry and you're just like gnawing on chicken. It's it's like the other, it's like the chicken wino, but like minus the pineapple basically. And you said this one was what? The beef? The, ah. We have the asada, so this, oh no, that was, yep. this one is the asada. Yep, this is the asada. Classic street taco. Oh, really good. Yeah, really, that, that queso. You get the flavoring in it, good. and then the queso fresco, and it just balances all off of the cilantro. And now the last one, which like I mentioned in all videos, I'm not trying to repeat myself, but when it comes to mini tacos, the pastor is the benchmark. Oh. That's the line in the sand. There you go, sir. That's true. So, um, cheers. Mm. That's, it's like the the last one that you really want to like savor. So I will say, out of all pastor equally, <laughs> but if you are somebody who doesn't like the sweetness. Or the pineapple too much, you like more of the seasoning of the meat. This wouldn't be for you, but if you love more of the pineapple taste of it, it's really good. But it's juicy, it's not dry. It's juicy. I can eat these all day. But little pieces of pineapple in there. Time to move on to the next one. Which one you want? Uh oh. So we're jumping here into the asada uh, fries. As you can see there, you have obviously fries. <laughs> fries. Queso and asada. So you have two queso or in sour cream, but onions and a jalapeno on top. Yeah. Because who doesn't love a nice roasted jalapeno? You know. Jalapeno on a steak. Oh yeah, cheese. So for those who aren't familiar, asada fries are really popular over in California. What they pretty much eat with their burritos. That's like their two go-to items. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's really good. I mean, I love the asada from the tacos. So with it, with the nacho cheese on it, just takes it to another level for me because I'm addicted to cheese. Yeah, liquid cheese especially. So, there's a nice good taste in it. But now, make room for the beast. I'm scared. The King California Burrito. So it's 20 inches long when you put it together. It has asada, fries, pico de gallo, sour cream, 
onions, a gerbil, a lion, a mountain goat, a big yeah, jalapenos goat, too. Cheese. Now they come with chips. I'm surprised it's holding together right now. That's what I'm surprised in. Oh, yum. Look at that. Size comparison. Let the world know, Dom. Cheers. Yep, you open it up. It's already open up. Yeah, I didn't even put a dent in it. Not really big. It's just like a world of flavor in your mouth. Like you can't even really. You have to like sit there and actually soak it in and enjoy it to understand all the flavors that are in there. So, so we're much. so we're gonna tackle this big boy. I'll be back after this. So the food was delicious, and I'm Tell stuffed. Um, Dom, what was your favorite? Pastor street taco. Uh, street tacos are pretty bomb. So that being said, I'm G. I'm Dom. And for food truck foodies, catch, catch you in the, the streets. streets.